the Demons tonight, winners over Lyon College. What do you think of the game? You know, I was really pleased with our guys because you're playing a team that's extremely efficient offensively and we were able to, to guard their stuff extremely well. Had a little lull at the end of the game where they scored 10 out of the last 13, but uh, they did a great job. And until that point, we really didn't just give, we probably gave five open shots prior to that, and we gave two open shots. And the uh, young man, I can't pronounce his name, dr drilled him, he had 27 points for the night, a Croatian national team member, really, really good player. But I thought that we did a great job. We adjusted. I saw some good things out of a lot of players. I mean, Ishmael Lane, Larry Owens did some good things. He didn't finish tonight. Uh, the, the double team was affecting him. I thought Brandon Hutton uh, created some things. Malik Matoire is, is rounding into form. And, you know, we're not bringing him around too, too, too quick. But I was real pleased with that. And the great thing about a game like this tonight is everybody contributed. Everybody got to gain some confidence in defending really, a really well-coached team. And that's important for us. So we end up with 10 steals. We're able to score 21 points off of turnovers. It's good to see that because we hadn't been able to do that. And we're starting to pick it up a little bit and we'll get better. The key now is for us to continue to do that in this 10, nine or 10 day lull to be able to, to get better with fi finals coming up. And then we'll play uh, at Louisiana College in Monroe, uh, pardon me, Alexander. Yeah, I kind of like going to Monroe, uh, Alexandria. Uh, but, um, you know, just a really, really good job. And I was real pleased with them, uh, competed hard. And, you know, guys played within themselves. And, you know, you mentioned earlier we had some um, off air. We had some guys that didn't handle balls. If they would have just caught them, Jalen would have probably ended up with uh, eight or nine or ten assists. And, and they'll get better at that because they're just learning to play with him, and it's just a matter of time. But we've got to be able to play at game speed and be able to make those things happen, and we'll do that. All right. Now what is the uh – tentative plan for the next 10 days? Tentative plan is that we'll go tomorrow morning, we'll come back to, tomorrow morning, we'll lift and get, get stretch, and, and then tomorrow night, yeah, evening at four o'clock, we'll come in and we'll get some stuff done, uh, shooting wise, talking about offensive stuff, techniques, working on little bitty things of trying to, uh, you know, to improve in areas, and then it'll all be shooting and technical because we'll come back again on Friday morning and we'll practice in the morning at our normal time, and then Saturday morning we'll probably end up going and end up taking off Sunday and Monday, Followed up next week, we'll be scheduling. We'll have finals going on, so we'll we'll uh, we'll do the things that we got to do, and really, really, uh, you know, try to get better. And, and I, that's the been thing that I've been the most impressed about this group. They have been willing to be coached in the shooting sessions and, and working to get better. And you know, as Patrick mentioned to me, am I concerned about going into lulls offensively? In games like this tonight, the way they got back in transition, we were unable to really get a lot of points out of transition. But, you know, if we can do that and get where we can move the ball and make shots in the half court, it was probably more beneficial to play in a game like this to where we're forced to try to get the ball inside, outside, and do some things so we can improve and get better. I'd have liked to have been able to offensively been efficient. I thought we were efficient in some areas tonight, especially during certain stretches of the game. So we've got to work to get be like that more often. All right, speaking of getting better, uh, Trey McCrory's back home. Give us an update. Uh, you know, Troy got home last night. Stephen Kim, uh, uh, our trainer, and uh, his mom, his aunt, brought him uh, home. I went to meet him at uh, Armstead, Louisiana, and Trey was doing much better. He texted me, said he sure hated he was missing tonight. We just, our prayers are, go out to him and go to the doctor tomorrow and try to figure out exactly where he is. But he is, he is much improved of where he was on, on uh, that Saturday, uh, that Friday night. So we're just thankful to the good Lord for that because, I mean, it was, it was a pretty sketchy time for Trey and for everybody.